my good man. All right. Did you have to sweep the high street in the Cation Avenue? Look at the time. What's your watch say? Tick, tick. Ah, oh, Mr. Town Clerk. Uh, Mr. Burr, this really isn't fair. The council's in session and you're not there. Well, I'll go to the foot of our stir. Get somebody else to take the chair. But I can't balance the rates. Well, in that case, I'd better juggle with the petty cash. <laughs> <laughs> Nine pence returned empties, ten at each way fetlock fanny, one and fourpence hush money. That's uh, throw away two, carry nine, fly away Peter, fly away ball, apples a pound pairs, watermelon three, have none put down those plums. No, it's no good. I shall have to raise the rates again. Hello? This is Fump speaking. Oh, Fump call, eh? Beware, Mr. Mayor. Your end is in sight. Good Lord, is my shirt hanging out? You won't hang out much longer, Handley. Fump will get you. Fump has spoken. Oh, go and strain your cabbage water. He can't frighten me. Says you. Ah, now, let me, now, let me see. Where was I? Oh, ten bob to come back from the dogs. Two shillings for second-hand sweet tickets. And then... Hey! Where are you going? This the way to the stables. That's right. Straight through and up the stairs. This place is about as private as a cup final. What am I talking about? We haven't got any stables. Hey! Excuse? Well, if it isn't old ping-pong pants, what do you want? Please, mister, you give me permission to pedal on your pier? Certainly not. Any other town I pedal where I like? Well, you can't pedal here. It upsets my curriculum. Oh, pity. No, me, mister, please. I sell you very nice toffee onion. Th very pongy, very sticky. No, thanks. I don't smoke. Don't like him? No. No, mister, please. What? You buy a nice pretty postcard. Very pretty lady. Very warm. Very saucy. How dare you? Let's have a look. No, no, no. Four shillings for look. I wouldn't give you four pence for the lot. Oh. Now go on, hop it, and don't darken my dado again. Oh, mister. Go on. Mister. What? I go, I come back. I don't care if you never come back. And now back to the chiseling. Uh, these marbles are leading me up the wrong alley. I'll try my Wall Street account. Now, let me see. Uh, bears, bears, two bears, four bulls, two nanny goats. Price pudding, if it comes down, divide by 16. Move to the right in fours. And the Can I do your nail, sir? Well, crack me on the cranium. If it isn't Mrs. Mop, the child with the bottomless bucket. Can I, yeah? Uh, can I ring you out, sir? What do you think I am, the old year? <laughs> I think you're an old rascal, sir. Ha <laughs> ha! You've been reading my diary. I've, uh, I've brought this for you, sir. Ah, my robe of office. Help me on with it, Mrs. Mop. I'm expecting a summons at any moment. Oh, another of them nasty things, sir. I mean from the council chamber. I believe they wish to pay me the oh, honour. Oh, then I can have me back wages, sir. Pay me the honour of re-electing me for a further term. Oh. Don't jump to conclusions. Now, go easy round Tattenham Corner. I've mended the rent in the rear, sir. Yes, and you've brushed up all the banquet stains. I shan't get any more till after the war. And there were vintage ones, too. Now, where's my chain of office? I've seen it lately, sir. Well, oh, 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 hey, boss! Oh, oh, boss! Oh, oh, Something oh, terrible's oh, happened! Not now, Sam. We haven't any time for accidents this morning. Help me to look for my chain. It's had half an hour. We'll meet at the plough. Oh, I... I chanced to confine a cantering canine with your choice chain, and the canine was chased by a cantankerous cat and careered quickly across the corner, carrying the chain conspicuously. I beg your pardon? Th oh, oh, oh. Listen, Sam, can't you ever make a dry statement? You mean you tied a dog to the end of my chain of office and he scarpered? Sure, boss. Uh, am I humiliated? Am I undone? Th but the dog, boss... I don't want to put on the dog. I want to put on me chain. But the dog forgot to leave the chain behind when he left, see? <coughs> quick, quick, after him, Sam. And don't forget to wear your muscles. Sure, boss. I'll see you at Barking. Mr. Burr, the shouting for you is there. I've got the whole thing clear. What? You've balanced the rates without turning a hair. Good. I'll face them without further demur. The mayor, the merrier. Aha. Ah, that's better. Well, come on. Oh, I better take my chance with me. Pray silence for his worship, the mayor. Gentlemen, you may remain seated. <clears throat> ah, nice weather we're having for this time of the year. Well, perhaps you're right. It's just that I stagger the wrong stag. <coughs> Don't do that to me. Know ye by all these presents. Ah, thank you very much. I'll unveil the presents tomorrow and they'd better be good. Members of the council are forming at the mouth. May I be the first to congratulate you at having re-elected me as mayor for a further term? Never mind that cackle. Now, Hanley, we want to know what you've done with all the money in the town's treasury. However, did you find out it wasn't there? I wanted it to be a surprise. If you don't return that money at once, we'll throw you into jail. 
throw me into my own jail. Don't be so salamonia, okay? Throw me into my own jail. <laughs> I've never laughed so much since I kissed my mother-in-law with a lighted cigar in my mouth. Gentlemen, we must place this in the hands of the police. Yes. Yes. Mr. Town Clerk, that's the superintendent. This has gone far enough. In fact, it's gone too far. Why, for two pennies, I'd resign as mayor. Well, gentlemen, that concludes the business for today. The meeting is now adjourned. What did you do with the money? Yes, sir, what do you do with the money? money? No. Well, I very wisely invested it. In what? Uh, in, uh, in a game of poker. <laughs> poker? How <laughs> 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 oh, great, 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 silence for his what turn up the card. I mean, his worship the mayor. When I said poker, I really meant that I applied the rules of that ancient and dishonorable game to uh, uh, matters of uh, high finance. Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, mm. do my old eyes deceive me? Especially this one. Do I see a look of suspicion lurking on your dubious dials? Well, shame on you, you shambling shyster. Never in my life. Hey, haven't you found those stables yet? No. All right, I'll come and show you where Get they are. Oh, no, you here. don't. Oh, I see. <clears throat> now, Henley, what have you to say? Well, with the town's money and my pack of cards, foaming at the mouth, now owns the lease of the Olympian Theatre, the finest theatre in London. You have the audacity to admit that you invested our money in a theatre? That's right. And a London theatre, too? Yes. It's a scandal. It's disgusting. Mm. And I suppose you intend to fill it with half-clothed women? Carried unanimously. That's an idea, panel. I'll put on a review. I'll call it, uh, Parlez-vous de Nude. That's French for Gone with the Windmill. Mr. Hanley, if you don't return the money immediately, you'll be charged with embezzlement of municipal funds. Embezzlement of the fools of the moon, How dare you, you cad! Hear them out there, my creditors, I mean my champion, my faithful supporters, the common people. They know their mayor, they trust their mayor, they love their mayor. My friends! Well, that's the first tomato I've tasted since they were controlled. This nonsense has gone far enough. Where's that superintendent? He's gone. He's come back. Get off and out. <laughs>